It's been years since Renny has been in a committed relationship. When she surveyed the men around her, the hope of marriage seemed bleak. <laughs> she recently learned that one of her cousins met her husband online and they seem to have a good marriage. Subsequently, Renny decides to give online dating a try. After many disappointments, she got a message from Adam, which piqued her interest. From his profile photo, he seemed reasonably attractive. On reading his profile, she became intrigued. Rennie decided to reply to Adam. After several lengthy messages, Rennie believes that Adam might be the kind of man that she'd like to know better. But what should Rennie do next? What can she do to protect herself when it comes to online dating? Some years ago when I was single, I surveyed the land of men around me and it seemed like a dry desert. <laughs> After much doubt and fear, I finally decided to give online dating a try. So my subscription lasted about a year and during that time, I connected with several men, but only one caught my interest. We did not meet up in real life, but we became friends virtually. Although there may be many horror stories out there, there have also been success stories where online dating has connected mature Christians who have good, strong marriages today. I'm Kimberly Garth and I provide practical relationship advice for single Christian women. Today's topic is how to protect yourself when you date online. One, take your time. You might hit it off through texting and calls, but take your time in getting to know the other person. Don't start fantasizing about your wedding yet because it takes interaction and experiences over time in real life for a person's true character to be revealed. Since you no longer have to wait on snail mail anymore, instant communication can cause you to be instantly in contact with the other person. Before you know it, your heart has run ahead of your head and you're in love with a man you hardly even know. Restrain yourself, my blossoming beauty. Limit messaging, texting, calling. You don't need to be in each other's faces 24 seven. Give each other space and time to reflect. Instead, try to build trust, rapport, and ultimately a friendship. Try not to get emotionally attached too quickly and manage your expectations about him. Two, don't keep it a secret. It's super easy to keep an online relationship a secret. However, if your intention is eventually marriage, then it's better out in the open sooner than later. At least confide in a few spiritually grounded mature friends about the guy that you're chatting with online. Even show them his profile and get their feedback. Please note that if you really cannot tell your parents about him, then maybe online dating might not be for you. Remember that a marriage is a union between two families and not simply a union between a husband and a wife. Three, stay on the dating site or app until you can trust him. Trust has to be established. The app or the site offers protection. Unfortunately, there are way too many scammers out there. Don't be too eager to reveal your personal data like your phone number, email address, or even your home address. If you haven't already, get my free resource, The Irresistible Godly Woman Checklist, and I've compiled you know, a few areas that will be important for you to develop in as a single woman. The link is in the description. Four, meet him in real life. Unless you interact with your online match in a physical space, you will never truly know him. I know someone who seems to be very sociable <laughs> on social media, but in real life, the person can barely hold a conversation. I once heard that 93% of our communication is non-verbal. Therefore, text messages and phone calls are very limited communication tools in truly knowing someone. Video calls are better, but you still cannot fully grasp a person's character because of the lack of real life interactions. You just cannot be too careful these days. As a matter of fact, in my opinion, the best meetup will be at an event where other friends and maybe relatives are around. Remember, you don't really know him as yet. In the full article, I give you pointers for the physical meetup and some things you should observe about him during that time. Plus, I'll give you three more tips on how to safeguard yourself with online dating. I've placed the link in the description. Also, if you're benefiting from this video, don't forget to like, 
subscribe and click on that notification bell so when I release more videos, you can see them. Five, pray and trust your guts. Don't let desperation or neediness make you fall for the wrong person. If something just doesn't seem right, trust your instincts as a woman and forget about it. Just as there are sincere Christians looking for a spouse, there are also players, criminals and married men looking for a single woman to prey on. End all communication if there are warning signs. Try not to become his counselor, but feel free to pray for him at a safe distance. Above all, you need to pray for God's discernment as you navigate online dating. My personal experience has not been terrible. So what about you? Have you ever tried online dating? What has your experience been like so far? In what other ways can a woman safeguard herself when she decides to date online? Please comment below and share with the entire community. If you found this video valuable, you might want to check out this other video called 10 practical ways to improve your chances of meeting the one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.